My name is Chase Marquardt from Thorsby, Alberta, and we'll be uh, seeding a hay field today with the Agris T40 drone. Start well, we're going to be 10 feet off the ground, and we're going to seed it about 22 feet wide or 20 feet wide. I set up a boundary of the field into the remote of the drone. I will just fill the tank. Change the batteries, and other than that, it's all automated. So then the drone really flies itself. I took Precision Ag, so that's all learning about the new ag technology there. Um, so we learned a lot about drones, and I wouldn't say as much about seeding with the drone, but definitely the mapping side of things and learning how to use the drones. This is definitely a lot cheaper. You get a tractor, your spreader, and everything else that goes into doing this. It's a lot more expensive. And this is all automated, you don't have the operator error. One of the main things is you're not driving on the soil, so you don't, the, in wet conditions, you can definitely do more than what you could do with a traditional, tra with a tractor or any other piece of equipment. So that's helpful, but the wind conditions are definitely what you have to worry about. And you can account for that by flying lower. So you got near infrared, red, red edge, and green spectrum. It'll take a bunch of different pictures and then it creates what's called an ortho mosaic and it combines all the pictures together to make high resolution imagery. Using that imagery, I can create accurate boundaries and I can also map what's called a multi-spectral imagery. So it measures plant health. So it'll show areas in red that are not growing as well versus green to where your high health is and, and you can target different areas of the field using that drone. I would say not a whole lot of farmers are actually using it. It's, it's still a new technology. It's definitely not conventional farming. It's a different way of doing things for sure, but it's the future, I think.